Hello, welcome back to the third video in the RX8 project series. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, you'll see I've done the front brakes, put the tires on and given, went through what issues the car has. Today, we're gonna to start off by looking at the rear brakes because they're a bit seized on as well. And we're gonna have a look underneath the car for the first time. So first up we're going to do, yeah, like I said, the rear brakes, we'll get those done first. Now make sure, because I've done this before, the handbrake is off, it's not, not in gear, and then you should hopefully be able to turn the wheel. Now this one, as you can see, is a bit stiff. So this one definitely needs freeing off and attention. This one is a lot better. So we're gonna start on the difficult one now first. So take the wheel off and we'll go on it. So the wheel is off. It all looks pretty tidy in here. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, but here is the brake caliper. Now these, get some more light. I've got the handbrake mechanism inbuilt, which makes them a bit harder. Uh, so, oh. So all that mechanism back there, that's for the handbrake. So that's why you need to make sure the handbrake is off, otherwise it will mess everything up for you. So once again, we'll undo these to 14 and separate the caliper, and we shall have a look to see what's going on in there. So unlike the fronts, these pins are all pretty good. I think the issue, annoyingly, is with the caliper that seems to be pretty stiff. So I'm gonna have a play about with that and see if I can work out the best course of action. So what I can tell is if you push on this lever here, that will activate the handbrake and it is pushing out this piston, but it's not retracting it. So I think we need to exercise that a bit um, and yeah, hopefully loosen it up. So what, what can be done while you're twisting these, because these are twisting, is you just want to spray, spray something to lubricate between here and the boot, sort of in between the boot and the piston, and that will just help so it doesn't tear this boot, because that can be an issue. I'm going to use something which you probably shouldn't do, so I'm not going to recommend that, but a bit of Googling will tell you what you need. This is tough, really tough getting somewhere now um, what I have done is Lee lent me his piston wind back tool and I've had to stick some mole grips on the end of it to get the leverage to twist this around if I had someone else to hold the um, caliper here it'd be a lot easier but we're getting somewhere what I'm doing is I'm winding it in pulling the handbrake on a little bit not yanking all the way I don't want the piston to pop out and then twisting it back in and each time it's getting better and looser and better and better so yeah nearly there okay that's pretty much loose now so when you put this back in you want to make sure that you've got a groove at the bottom because there's a pin that the brake disc has to the brake pad sorry has to slide into into that groove so do that and just bolt it back up um that's about it it's not a fun job um Hopefully your brakes aren't as bad as these. But yeah, all right, I'll bolt it back up. So this side all bolted back up. Uh, the pins were fine. I gave them a little quick clean up, but they were okay. Something to note, um, I was looking last night at the pins and they're about 10 quid a corner if you wanted to do this job properly and just um, put new pins and hardware on the brake calipers which if I have to take them off again, I will do. But um, at the moment, hopefully, this is all gonna work. Well, we're in this bit of the car. I thought we'd have a quick look around and everything looks pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, it's all been under sealed, but I think it's been under sealed at the right time to protect it rather than hide. And the coilovers actually look relatively new as well which is a result um, all the arms look all right and yeah even the self-leveling arm is still in one the, for the lights just at the back 
that's still in one piece they normally break so I am happy so the wheel is back on and this is a lot easier to turn now hopefully it'll stay that way and I don't need to send these off to someone like Big Red to get them rebuilt but we're looking good so this is one done I'll just go and do the other side and then we'll see what's next on our list so that is the other side done not nearly as bad and the wheel on um, in case you're wondering these are 17 by 7.5 ET42s but I have a 5mm spacer so ET38 and the tyres are 2 to 5, 45, 17 so the same width as the stock 18s um, they sit yeah they sit okay they're absolutely fine for what we want now this arch is just as good so now I'm going to have a look underneath and see what it looks like under here and I think apart from all the under seal and the stupid loud tiny exhaust which I need to sort out because it's too loud for me I think the car is all right I think the car is absolutely fine for rust which is a bit of a relief and hopefully like I say I've bought a good one so let's put the car on the ground, have a look at the whiteboard and see what we have got left to do now. So I have just come back from a quick test drive of the car. It is so much better. It is, reminds me of why I love an RX-8. They're just so lovely and light to drive. Everything is perfect. They are just amazing cars. If you've never driven one, just go and drive one. Just borrow one. Give me a shout. If you're local, I'll let you take this out for a spin. It is a wonderful thing and working on it so far has been really nice just hardly any tools everything is very simple like I said in my intro video but let's have a look at um, the board and see what we've sort of achieved so far uh, let's focus so tires we are halfway there I've got to rotate those two around wheel nuts done sorted locking wheel nuts done brakes sorted i hope um i'm not entirely happy with the um rear caliper but we'll see hopefully that will free up clutch slave i still got to do ignition we'll do that later that's a whole video on its own map has been cleaned so we've just got the ac passenger door lock ignition and slave to do so prices of things so far let me get a change pair so we have got on spend so far we got wheels they were 350 pounds and that so far for what we've done is it which is quite nice the difference those wheels and tires have made is amazing um, with the brakes sticking on as well it felt like it was really tugging all the time so hopefully the car is getting there um, I love it I absolutely now it's back on the ground I'll do a quick sort of show you around even though it's getting a bit dark out there to see what it looks like on the new wheels let me know down below what you think about them I actually like them and I think 17s are a good look on the RX-8 so here we go For watching this episode i'm not sure what it's going to turn out like i don't think it's going to be my greatest video but if you got this far thank you very much please hit subscribe and we'll see you next one maybe tomorrow i'm trying to get one out day after another where we will probably do i think the air conditioning we're going to go look at the air conditioning next one and then after that will be 
the ignition system because that's going to be quite a big video and we'll go through how the best way to diagnose if your coil packs are working for about 12 quid I think the bits cost me so thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye bye